incredible. What was the most striking thing that you didn't know that you uncovered? Just the, I mean, the, the conspicuous consumption and how money infected, you know, the first guy made the money, Cornelius Vanderbilt, and built an empire in steamships, an empire in railroads, and subsequent generations spent the money. And there, the, it, to me, what was most fascinating is how the money infected the, pre, the next generations and how the patho Cornelius Vanderbilt had what he called a mania for money. It's all he cared about. He didn't care about his family so much. He mm -hmm. cared about the money. And uh, that mania for money, that pathology, infected every subsequent generation in ways that it's just kind of fascinating to see how it kind of infected them. What's interesting, though, is the way that, you know, your mom sort of broke that cycle yeah. and reinvented herself and created a fashion dynasty. Which and then you... And I, th and I think it was really because my mom wasn't, you know, she wasn't raised a Vanderbilt for the first 10 years of her life. She was sent to the family by courts uh, when she was taken away from her mom when she was 10. But she really didn't have a relationship. She didn't know her father. Um, so she grew up, she inherited money, and she was really kind of the last from that generation who did. Mm. I, you know, my parents made clear to me very early on that there wasn't some like pot of gold waiting for me. And I'm, I'm glad because I do think that kind of money infects and, and changes who you are. When you